All right, so we still got a ton of cool stuff to do. Um, most of it's pretty easy, fun stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so the shift knob that we got broke. So, but um, the old Amazon was pretty on top of it. And we got a new one. So with this one, just decided to go with the standard. You'll see. It's, it's nothing crazy, but it is cool. Um, I don't dislike the original one either. I was tempted just to leave that one on. But, you know, I returned the other one. Then I had the money and it was burning a hole in my pocket. And so I was like, why not? So Shiloh's going to help with the shift knob deal, and then we're going to keep on plugging away, and boom, baby. Right, Shy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Shy. so first thing we got to do is take this one off. So do you know how to take it off? Do I just turn it? Yep, just turn it. Dang, this is The nice. other way. This way? Yeah. No. It's pretty snug on there. Is it going? Yep. All right, so go ahead and take it off. It's easy. Just twist it. Yep, pretty easy, right? Good project. Here, put that up there. All right, so then you got to grab your new one. So get the new box. All right, so now you got the new one. Mm -hmm. So take the plastic off the new one. Look at this. So they have some different thread options that come with it, right? So in case it doesn't fit or whatever, I think we're probably good. Let me see. Hold on. Dang, look at that. Isn't I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You can see your face on it. I mean, it's not. It's nothing crazy, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So I think that lines up. So go ahead and put it on. Dang, it's cool. I... Yeah. Going? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Kind of doesn't look like it. Me, it's not really done. I think our threads are off. Open, open that. Yes. Uh, yep. It's think. probably this. This is probably the problem. This is like a normal size, but that's just the problem. Well, you know, we're dealing with an F two fifty. These threads don't match up. I had this kit, and you know, I just I saw the kit. And I'm like, I'm sure one of those works. What I think I'm gonna do is I'll get a threaded deal that fits on here. That adapts to this. I'm sure I could sort that out. We just have to figure out what thread that is. And then I'll just bring this with me. And we can sort it out. Actually, you know what I do? We'll take this one and that one. And we'll sort it out that way. Alright, Shy. So let's go to Ace and see if we can find something to make this work. So... This is an old thread. This is a thread this has. I don't know if there's an option, but we'll go check it out, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Uh, All right, Shai, I think we can find it. The scorpions, do they have any? Where's the, where's the lid? Uh, no, 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 wrong way. Yeah, no, right there. See in the corner? And there's, an, uh, there's another one in the corner right there too. Where's the light for it? I don't know, try. Hey, Mike. You, you beautiful people are helping us find it. So, there are these. I'm still going to have this in my pocket. Shy, it didn't work. No. It didn't, it didn't work. Alright, well so much for that. That didn't work, but it was worth a try. We're just gonna return the um <laughs> the new one. I think Frankie just wants this shift knob on it. And you know what? I like the original one. This is just gonna stay for a bit. And I'm okay with that. <laughs>
speedometer that likes to hop around. Look at that. Look at that fluctuation in speed. Hey, we're doing pretty good if you ask me. There we go. So uh, really the goal here is to get the engine nice and warm so then we can go and wrap the uh, starter because you don't want the engine too cold when you wrap the starter. It's good to have it blistering hot and uh, you gotta have those headers really warmed up too because you're gonna be reaching your hand in there and you don't wanna be too comfortable. So my thought is, hey, I'm driving around the neighborhood Get it nice and toasty, and then I just psh, sear it right off. There you go, boom. And all joking aside, I think I'm gonna put the fan on the engine for a minute because I really don't actually want to burn my hand. And that was actually the project I'm planning on doing is wrapping that thing. So um, we'll give the old engine a moment to cool. But there was a purpose for that driving around. Because I wanted to see if the master cylinder deal was going to leak, and it's not. So we're good there. So that's awesome. Everything's really coming together well. We need to clean up the wires. The wires under the dash. It's a whole nother project. But functionality-wise, we're, we're really making good headway. So I want to wrap that up. Thanks to Mr. Bill Cameron. Bill Cameron, huge thank you for the wrap, or no, for the uh, the metal zip ties. And that's where we're gonna wrap next. You also have to put the license plate. I found the original one, and then I found this, uh, this bracket that we can use, and we're gonna try and bolt that up to the back. But the only challenge is, and this is such a funny thing, but my drill died, I don't have a drill, so. I either need to find a hole that I can use that's already there or borrow a drill or go buy one. So, boom. That's it. But the kit's pretty nice. I mean, it comes with the screws and everything. Pretty cool little thing. Pretty sure this is for little import cars, but it's going to work fine for this. I don't know if I love that logo there, but... You know what, the plate will cover that up. You won't even see that. Yeah, there we go, boom. All right, we're in the back. Boom, let's All see. Right. Actually, what is this? Oh, there's one hole. Oh, it's too high though. It's too thin. I'm not doing that. Uh, Yeah, I just need to buy a drill because this is not happening without a drill. Now let's go work on that uh, starter. Hopefully it's cooled down by now. So hopefully the fan cooled it down because now I need the fan because it's hot. And um, we'll probably bust out some gloves. In case you missed it last time, I got this fiberglass wrap because I didn't want to wrap the exhaust. Maybe that was a better wrap. I don't know. Anyways, so we got this stuff. I'm going to cut it into a couple strips, put them side by side, somehow get them to stay side by side. Maybe I'll zip them. I don't know, zip time together that way. But then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna wrap the starter to keep the heat off, and boom. Let's cut it this way. So I'm gonna cut it this way. This is as good as we get, you know? This isn't, this isn't Oli's Garage, okay? Anyways, big announcement, Oli's Garage says so he's gonna drive down from uh, up north to help me. He either said that or I'm making it up. I don't know. And then, by the way, you got to check out 615 Customs, Wood and Metal Garage, Robert's Garage. Do those live videos. They're pretty good. You got to go check those out. All right, so see, now that'll stay like that. 
I really only care about the one side. These gloves have holes because I picked up a battery. Boom. All right, so the only tricky part is I'm trying to figure out how to connect them widthwise and where I should cut it. Well, let's see how wide it is. Let's check that Just out. Just saying, I mean, Oli's, if Oli's wants to come down here, Mr. Dano, help a guy out, brother. All right, so I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not really terribly wide. It's like from right there to right there. You know, like that. And uh, yeah, let's try to wrap this bad boy up. You can see my uh, custom O'Reilly's exhaust work down there. That's all custom. Yeah. Get it, O'Reilly's, baby. So, I was going to use the scissors inside the house, but since it's fiberglass, I thought my wife might not like that. So, these will probably work. I'm thinking like that. Alright, so then I'm going to line this bad boy up. Make sure that's about like that. So, uh, Mr. Cameron, Mr. Bill Cameron hooked up a few of them in case I messed up. I think he knows how I roll. Okay, so, uh, you know, I could... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, pop a hole here. Check out this ingenuity. Check this out. All right, I'm going to pop a couple holes. Boom. I mean, look, if you're trying to build a show truck, probably shouldn't watch these videos because I'm going to weave these bad boys together. I want to see if this is a good idea or not. And the whole time I'm praying that I'm not getting this fiberglass in my hand. All right, so there's that, that, see? See what I mean? Huh? You like that? Huh? Anyways. All right, so boom. We go like that. There we go. Yes, yes. Just like that. Here's the end result. Basically we got two of these metal Bill Cameron zip ties. We got this woven through. Now the tricky part is getting it on. There's a joke in there somewhere. And uh, I think I might try and crawl under to get that on there. Yeah, that's probably a better way. I mean, there's no real easy access. We'll probably have to try both. So you can see how close the uh, starter is to the header. You can see the uh, the fabric back there. I added an extra zip tie on both sides just to make sure that uh, make sure that it could reach all the way around. And then, really, the goal is to get that fabric to line up right between the header here and the starter. And then I think we'll be good. But the way that I put that together, it's actually not too bad. So I think that's gonna work out good for us. So now I'm gonna go on the top and see if I can get everything positioned and then see if I can zip it down. All right, so this is what we look like from the top. And now we're just gonna get it all lined up. Man, it is so nice seeing this awesome windshield. I do need to get new wiper blades though. That's definitely on the list. All right, so let's put that on that side. Oh, where's my top pieces? Right there, right by that bolt, there's one. Right on the left, there's the other. Yeah, I just gotta get it over the back side. That's way better. That's going to keep the heat off of the starter. It's a little, um, I mean, it's not the cleanest looking thing, but it's easier than wrapping the headers. I'm sure at some point we'll have to switch that, but for now, this is going to work. So now I'm just going to cut the extra 
the extra tails of the zip line off. But that should hold it really well. That shouldn't go anywhere. We should be good there. And there's only one tail down here and the rest are up top. So we're gonna do that. As you can see. There we go. There's that guy. Now let's go to the top. You just gotta cut these bad boys off. All right, and then we got this bad boy. Here we go. guys for watching like subscribe check out all of our friends channels and uh everybody please go and bug Oli's garage and say dano why were you not helping bryce with this project you know what i mean anyways yeah like subscribe thank you guys i think i need to tighten the zip ties because when i start it you can hear i need to take another look at it but i think we did good the heat's off of it, so boom, baby.